The journey for the Dominican Republic crew of 2013 began at LAX. After a few group photos, Mr. Gaines led a prayer for a safe departure for the 40 participants of this year's Dominican Republic trip. This year's trip included 22 Foothill Christian students, 12 parent chaperones, 3 teachers, as well as 3 alumni students. The group arrived a few hours before boarding, which meant there was time to hang out, perform gymnastics, and take more group photos. Finally, the group is ready to board. After a six hour flight, they'd arrive in Miami. An hour or so later, they'd arrive in the customs department at the Santo Domingo Airport in the Dominican Republic. Everyone would stay at the hotel for the rest of the day. Tomorrow, the Foothill Kids would begin the first of many projects and activities at the Manny Mota Foundation. On Monday, the first day of missionary work for the Foothill Kids, Mr. Manny Moda gave the kids a tour of the entire foundation. They would bring it down by 10 by 10. That way we have control, it's more organized that way. Mm -hmm. See, we're here, nice and quiet. Nobody, nobody come here to bother us. That's a little door over there, a field outside. The foundation includes a newly renovated baseball field, a smaller field undergoing renovations, a lower third field for the younger kids to play baseball on, the gazebo where most of the week's work would be done, and a large open field where many of the kids play. If the Foothill kids weren't handing out uniforms or feeding the Dominican children, they were definitely playing in the field. The most important part of the tour is heading towards the local river. The river unfortunately tends to flood and ruins the shanty housing near it, creating a difficult living environment for the Dominican children. It ultimately teaches the Foothill kids that the main focus of this week's trip is to help the Dominican children as much as possible. One of the most important activities the Foothill Kids complete is the distribution of lightly used Foothill uniforms. One of the few requirements for a child to go to school in the town of El Tamarindo is to wear some sort of polo shirt and khaki pants. By distributing these uniforms, Foothill Christian is giving the kids an opportunity to acquire a proper education. The process of distribution is simple and organized. First, the majority of the kids stay in the stands of the baseball field on the foundation. Once the Foothill kids are ready, a group of 10 Dominican kids are sent to the caged gazebo to begin the process. The kids try on a few pairs of shirts, pants, and shoes during the process.
By the time the kids leave the gazebo, they leave with two polo shirts or two dresses, two pairs of khakis, a pair of shoes, and a bag to carry it in. While the kids are helping the Dominican children with foundation, the dads of the trip help prepare renovations to the damaged and worn out structures. Mr. Rogers here explains the plan's renovations for the week. Uh, four by eight sheet of, of three quarter inch plywood, which is going to extend beyond, a few inches beyond this and a few inches beyond that, and then it's going to go from end to end, and then we're going to tile it for them afterwards. And we got legs that are going to support it in yeah, the middle. Yeah, we got a couple of, of uh, uh, cement. cement legs that are working we're going to put them in the center to give it some strength there to, for it to come down. Then that uh, underneath there, there's a stainless steel, uh, that unit of stainless steel, we're going to build a platform out of, of uh, cinder blocks outside and set it down in it so they can chop all their vegetables and all that, which is what Margarita, Doña Margarita wants. Uh, so that's what's going to be done here in the kitchen. Well, oh, they're using a they're using a uh, bucket, right? Is that what they're using? A is there a bucket? Bucket, bucket. Uh, for it's actually the a cooking pot. It's a cooking pot, all cooking pot. There's a bucket of water, and then each time you pour the water into the toilet, and that flushes it because they don't. The, and it's only the unit that's inside the toilet tank, which is what eight dollars at the Home Depot at home. If that. If that. Place, and that's the old faucet there that we, they took off of that other sink. And uh, so the new sink will have a new faucet, and that one. Uh, that, Oh, we'll have one also, and then they'll have the extended neck so it comes out further for the pots. This is what these, these were done last year, but they, these fell apart, so they had them put away so they wouldn't get messed up. So we're going to fix these and uh, so that they get anchored properly. Same thing here. We have one board, and the other one was put away. They brought it out, so we're going to secure these, you know, permanently. Uh, they've been cooking on these rocks here, but we had the wrought iron guy came out and he took the measurements and he's going to build some grids for them to replace the rocks and they'll be able to put the pots on top of the grids and do the cooking there. Uh, the, uh, this sink is going because it's uh, there's nothing we can do about it. It's fiberglass, we can't paint it, we can't do anything to it. So we found a granite, granite, right? Granite uh, sink, a uh, double sink, which is going to go here with a new faucet, new faucet for there. The, we're going to rip this tile off and then and then replace all of this tile with this type of tile, uh, recover it all, and then the new part, the stainless steel part I showed you over there, is going to go basically here. It's going to extend a little bit and it's going to be here so they can chop their vegetables here. They'll, we'll put some pavers on the ground outside. They can stand there, chop all their vegetables, wash their their uh, dishes and everything here afterwards, and uh, so it sounds like a lot, but it's not. And, it, and if we can do it in a short period of time. It'll really help the, uh, you know, the facilities here, and everybody can be a little happier. We're going to do the, all the plumbing well, the underneath. It's going to get redone underneath. See the plumbing underneath, and we're going to redo all that plumbing. And new plumbing, new hoses coming in. It's, it's a small thing, but it's a big thing to them. While the kids were getting ready for the day, the dads of the it's trip were starting the renovations as planned. This morning's step was to move the old tiling on the countertop. Here. 
Most of the Foothill kids helped out in the kitchen by preparing the daily meal and handing it out to them. For most of the kids that go to the Manny Mota Foundation, this could be their only meal for the day. Coconut milk is delicious, fresh off the tree. Once cleanup started, the renovations continued. The old sink was removed. Cement was being made for the new sink area, and a tile was being laid down for the new countertop. Up there in the bleachers, the girls are going to paint nails, us and a couple of other guys. We're going to be get, handing out uniform to the other people that we did not get to get to yesterday. The Foothill girls were painting nails for the Dominican girls, which would turn into a time to take photos and hang out for the rest of the time at the foundation. On Tuesday of the trip, one of the groups of Foothill kids went to a local school to perform a song and dance, a puppet show afterwards, as well as handing out a special gift to the principal of the school. And these are some of my students. Estos son los estudiantes de ella. And they're... Hola. Hola. Who likes to sing? Raise your hand. ¿A quién le gusta cantar? A mí. Do you guys like to sing? Animales lo 
Dios metió de dos en dos. Doña Cebra entró con su pisado camisón. Le siguió el camello, la serpiente cascabel. El monitor en Rután, el ratón, el puerco espín, la paloma, el burro, el conejo y el suelzado. Cerca de cuarenta días de vuelta a todos. Hasta que el inmenso bote quieto se quedó. Ya salgo el señor Noé y en el viaje no tengo. Bajo el arco y mis muchas gracias te di a Dios. Ya salgo el señor Noé que en el viaje no tengo. Bajo el arco y mis muchas gracias te di a Dios. To give to your principal. A la directora. This is Mr. Alam. Maria, he's Dolly in there. He's the papa of Dalia. Ah, yeah, he's the papa of Dalia. To give to your principal so you guys can have a computer. Porque no va a facilitar mucho el trabajo con los niños y que es algo que dio en día en el momento preciso porque estábamos necesitando mucho de ellos. She says it's an honor to have you here and to have all of us here, but she says thank you so much for this because this is going to really help facilitate things and make things easier for them and it's something that they really needed and thank God for us and for them. It's my pleasure to be here. I hope it's good for this meeting. Afterwards, the kids returned to their classrooms while the Foothill kids handed out coloring pages and taught Bible stories. Now we're at a school in the Dominican Republic teaching Bible stories to the children. I'm teaching uh, the story of a boat that sunk and all the people on it were saved by Jesus. Finally, the Foothill kids return to the bus to be taken back to the Manny Moda Foundation in order to complete the next set of activities for the day. Today, the girls of the Dominican Republic crew went to the foundation to help the mothers of the foundation. Ms. Burse explains here. Right now we're setting up a store for all the young moms with babies so they can come through and get diapers and formula and wipes and just new baby clothes a lot of the women in the village um, are young. There are a lot of these girls ages, like 13, 14, 15, 16, and don't really have the money to buy diapers. So a lot of these kids are just wearing underwear and then they're having to constantly change them. So um, our school, our service club, Junior Beta, donated a lot of these items. And so we're just setting up a store so they can come in and pick what they need for their families. The process was similar to the uniform distribution day.
First, a Foothill student would walk with the mother of the foundation and hand her a week's worth of diapers, two toys, a pair of shoes, clothing according to the age of the child, and a bag to carry it all. The last event of the day was holding a luncheon for the abuelas of the foundation. The girls gave them handcrafted bracelets that the girls made, shared devotionals, and sang songs the group had practiced. You were loved by many people, and you guys may not know it, but you have and are changing our lives, or mine at least. Mucha gente nos quería a todos. Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, the kids started by conducting a face painting session for the Dominican children at the foundation. The face painting varied from animals like butterflies or the national sport of baseball. After an hour of face painting and hanging out, the kids began to help set up the Thanksgiving lunch held for every family at the foundation. Right now we are about to serve Thanksgiving lunch to all the kids. So yeah, right now we're just like getting everything ready and praying that everything goes well. The meal consisted of the traditional American turkey along with local Dominican dishes. The Dominican children were sent in small groups to be seated where they would receive a drink and a plate of food. In the end, Mr. Moda had something to say. After a long week of activities and service projects, tomorrow would be a day of fun and sightseeing. The renovations were nearly complete by the last day at the foundation. The tile was finished for the outdoor countertop, the sink was replaced and the aluminum box was put in place.
Inside the kitchen area, the large granite countertop was installed and ready for use. The Foothill kids hung out with the Dominican children for the last time today. They took photos together while most of the boys gave piggyback rides to the kids. The kids headed to the capital where they would have lunch at a local pizza parlor. It's like silly Americanos. Are those all the kids? Yeah. Look at my bites. Look at my bites. Shut up. Look at my bites. After the lunch, the group enjoyed 50% off merchandise at a local gift shop. The kids headed back to the hotel for the last night of the trip. Tomorrow, the kids would return home back in the United States.